I believe the political, social and economic climate is opportune for all of us to do things differently, to achieve some of the goals that we've set to achieve reconciliation. People on the ground in communities are clearly saying that they do not want to return to the same old, same old. COVID has presented us with new learnings and new ways of achieving the goals and the solutions. So we must listen and we must grasp this opportunity. And I feel when opportunity arises, it's so exciting because we can do things differently. We need to do things differently. So we are ready to achieve these goals. It means that we must all take brave and courageous steps to achieve this goal. So we all must be excited about this. And I'm hoping that we can find new ways of working, working together to achieve these outcomes. We also have the opportunity with the various reports on the table and particularly the Women's Voices Report, the We Yaniu Dangani Report, which I tabled uh, last year through the Federal Parliament, which speaks of the challenges, the achievements, the aspirations that over 2,000 women and girls provided in the engagements when we visited them in their urban communities, their re regional communities, remote communities and very remote communities and even in the women's prisons and the young people's detention centres across the states we, we visited. So I think it's time that we listen to these voices where women and others have spoken about the solutions they have and how they've articulated the supports that they need to be able to achieve these goals.